All right, we're at the site of the occupied Morn 2.0 house. This year, 2019. Tried shooting a video earlier, had some technical difficulties, but I'm gonna go through, run through some of the art and I'll try to do that in a very brief fashion. So this is trash house, as you see here. Uh, Julia Schudick and Alex Bodie uh, went uh, several doors down in each direction and picked up trash just in the immediate area uh, that they found. They didn't even get it all. Uh, part of this just showed the impact that we all have um, within our environment. And then um, they created this house, you know, the representation, you know, uh, trying to show that, uh, you know, the earth is our home too, you know, not just not the structures that we live in. So uh, this will come down at the end of today's event, uh, representational, you know, creating this thing and um, kicking off the show and then uh, taking it down almost like sand mandala so and don't worry it's not going back to where it was found it is going to the trash so this is a collaboration uh, when we do projects like this it's very cool we're able to collaborate with multiple organizations uh, some of those uh, are friends over at Trumbull Neighborhood Partnership uh, who we love partnering with as well as Trumbull County Land Bank uh, I mean they're the reason why this is possible as well as the Ohio Arts Council who uh, provided funding for a large portion of this project this year. Um, really quick too, also, Doug Meyer, um, I have another video that I had shot, had did that piece over there. Uh, you can find that video online and uh, check it out. It's very cool. So, let's see. Josh Ford did the dragon up there as well as the King Henry graffiti. He was the only one that wanted to get up on the actual roof it's the occupied Moon public art project fairy tale and fantasy there's the sean scott of the d5 group he's uh documented a lot of the project there you go yeah uh, you can find uh, his documentation on the d5 group page instagram youtube as well as uh the art of uh, lots of cool content uh last year this year and then he'll continue documenting arts in the area as well so, and he just recently came on to the board of the Fine Arts Council of Trumbull County, and we are glad to have him there. Uh, Jean Sabin created these pieces with different types of fabric. She's a material, uh, material artist. That's her right there. And it's kind of whimsical, fun little pieces. I painted that insanity with bad paint. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll come back out and look at some of this stuff. I want to. I really want to get inside before people start coming. That is not a real fire pit. It's a way to hide a hole. So, this year's theme: fairy tale and fantasy. Once upon a time, it was dark. It was a dark and stormy night. It's Mary Jo. I always seem to catch her on videos. She doesn't like to be on videos. That's Josh Ford. He loves to be on videos. I do. Which is good. And that's Gene, who I was just talking about when I showed her back end. Uh, Dovey Wubby, David painted the porch. porch. I said porch. Um, some of the vine work and whatnot. The mushrooms going around. Those are chairs from his house that people are sitting on. Minus the metal chair with paint. That's mine. And then he also did those mushrooms, those crazy mushrooms, the three-dimensional falling apart. It's part of the process. Today it won't be trespassing. Yeah. We incorporated Shannon Fee, who never never seems to want to submit a proposal, but we included his head anyways. It's Shannon's head. Not his real head though. Yeah, Try to keep that attached. Right, if someone picks it up. So we're gonna go through the house again really quick. This is Summer Zigfoos's room. It's a type of roast. I can't remember I'm not butcher that. I'm gonna try to say I'm gonna say it wrong, which I already did. That she used from uh, her home and then installed uh, in this room on the walls. Looks very cool on that blue. Uh, this is one of my favorite rooms. So you'll see there's a very set pattern here. In this grid, diamond type of grid. And as we transition and move along through the room, starts to change somewhat. We have these more organic, whimsical shapes, you know, that start to come into play. 
Uh, she also had a student at the university that she teaches at. She's an art, art teacher, uh, a sister, one of the day, at least one of the days. So, go. Uh, she included some plants and teacups, as you can see, here, as well as some beautiful marigolds. Who doesn't love yellow? And the idea for that actually comes from right there. Look at that. And as we go back and look again, kind of get a feel for that. So, this is Brendy Hanna's room, the upside down room. Eat me. Drink me. Very cool stuff. She made that hat up there herself. That's what I promised last time. Gimbal does not like that at all. At all. Pouring out. Very cool space. We're all mad here. Drew Stamen. I drew that at the very beginning and she left it. Cool little elements. We'll mosey on by Deshaun Scott. And we'll go through. This is the kitchen. No one ever seems to want to do the kitchen. Um for whatever reason. So I worked on a lot of the spaces. I took the spaces that no one else wanted uh, towards the end. A couple people had thought maybe they'd do stuff in here. Uh, there is a mural I'll show over here to the left real quick. But um, So I did this like the past in the past week. So I had to kind of rush to get this done. So I'll show you a couple things. David W. Lovey had did this here. The old cabinets took the doors off and then took cardboard, painted it. Uh, these eye holes and then lights through them. So, my wife's favorite hot sauce, Julia. Oh, these are two pieces right here and here from last year's, last year's Occupied Morn. It was, uh, newspaper was at the house and the first paint that got spilled um, had to clean it up and um, it happened to be yellow and I happened to be the individual that knocked it over. It wasn't my paint. I felt horrible about that, but uh, so I took, um, I brought those, I used, I ended up, you know, folding them to be more sculptural, used them in last year's and then brought them here again. Just trying to represent, as well as over here, this is actually a photograph I took after, um, and it's hard to see again. That's last year's Occupied Morn site. So, that's an image used, or created using uh, Jackson Pollock's hands. A uh, famous photograph of him uh, doing one of his drip paintings. Obviously heavily edited and manipulated. Kevin Erie, in fact, one of my favorite artists. So, oh, Tiki Torch. Some You'll see stuff left in the house and just incorporated. A lot of the line work. Um, I've used in a lot of my art, so, as well as over here. Uh, that photograph is my hand at Oakwood Cemetery at the Packard Memorial. Sydney Tenney is the artist on this wall right here that looks like tie-dye, um, which I love tie-dye, so obviously I'm going to love this wall. And it says, can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Very cool. She's our youngest artist this year. She's only in high school uh, and already doing very cool work, so it was very cool to have her as, as well as all the other artists participate. So as we go in here, this is Bill Barron's space. Bill always does phenomenal work. Uh, and here you'll find some of the some of the things he did. He has a room upstairs too. This was a space that people uh, generally didn't want and Bill jumped on it. So he took toys. What he did was took toys and uh, cut them apart and then put them back together. I'm just trying to get this in focus. That's cool stuff. 
coffee. Just forget that. Countertop that I did. Hey, if you give me about 10 minutes, I gotta shoot this video real quick and then I'll get you. You'll be in the back though. Do you see the panels in the back? I don't think you'll be in the back. No. The, like right behind, there's a couple big panels and then I'll pull the paint out of my car here in a okay. couple minutes. Thank you guys. So the graffiti artist is here, Yoga from uh, Cleveland. He's gonna be throwing up some uh, pieces today. Uh, this is also known one of this room. I actually took the effort of taking out the doorway and uh, tearing down part of the wall thinking that, oh, if I did that, maybe someone would want it. No one still wanted it, so um, I took it, and, uh, created something. Uh, there's three coats of primer, uh, and then two coats of white paint, and then there's still areas where it's bleeding through. The room was a mess filled with trash beforehand. Those are actually my hands, um, made using a uh, wax cast. Uh, what was it? I did uh, two of my right and one of my left and then uh, filled with plaster, painted, you know, obviously put in there, painted. Dresser drawer that I found in the garbage, uh, gun that I found in the garbage, found, found trash, found this in the trash, 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 and whatnot, so, chain, trash. I'll try to get some shots with my wide angle and then include those at the end of the video. Down here, the door is shut right now, I'm sure Dave Carr will unlock it if, if we ask him. Dave, can you unlock that side door and open it? Yeah. Bigfoot's down there. Dave painted that. Um, some Josh Ford stuff. So, and then we're actually going to go in Dave Carr's room. That's Dave right there. He just waved. He gave us the back wave. This is Dave Carr's. Ooh, Deshaun Scott, what's up? What's up, sir? It's a very dark room to begin with, so it's kind of hard to document. But this is the hands-on Gretel room. I'm going to try to get out of Deshaun's oh, wave really on. quick. It's, I'll include some images of this room and whatnot, so we'll let Deshaun do his thing, get out of the way. Boo. Don't act shy, I saw you on the news. I know, uh, cautious. Yeah, Maybe yeah, yeah, not. you did great, especially for being sick. Oh. My God, you did great, woman, you did great. All right, so, hi, Rachel. She's on the board of the Fine Arts Council of Trumbull County, and her daughter Liv is going to play in a little bit. She's up there. She's up there? Out. Out there. She is out there. All right, so through this hallway is Gianna Jones. Last year, she was the youngest artist on the project. This year, Sydney. Uh, Gianna is now uh, a student at Youngstown State University in the art department, and is next year going to be doing an internship for Fox out in California. She always does amazing work. Alice in Wonderland thing. It's very hard. I'll, I'll definitely include some wide photos. Um, if it's not on the video, it'll be at the end of the video. It'll be somewhere. Um, you'll be able to find those. Also, like I said, Deshaun Scott has a ton of content that he created already, as well as the stuff he's creating currently right now, um, documenting, and then you can find it there. So, last year she just uh, strictly painted um, on the walls. This year she started adding some other elements. So it becomes more like a mixed media. Uh, installed some fake grass, stones, uh, Christmas tree uh, hanging around. Um, she also will come through and look at um, the, the walkway going up the steps, but you can see some of the elements that she's included, pencil and whatnot. Paint the roses red. Gianna wants to do a haunted or Halloween um, type house next year. <laughs> Something dark. As you can see a hint of that. Um, this came out cool. Very cool stuff. She works extremely quick as well. She was only she a couple days and she got it done. Um, a couple days on site, not even full days. Uh, so we as, as we look through this walk, as we look at this walkway, if, if you look here. Uh, she took that expansion foam, put it around the doorway, painted it. Uh, she wanted to give it the impression of being uh, almost like a tree, and then that's like kind of cut up and you're kind of walking through. Mushrooms sitting in there, there's actual leaves and branches and leaves incorporated. Uh, so she actually, she did, a, she's definitely started to do um, a lot more uh, when thinking of like doing projects like this in the environment, like things to incorporate, um, how individuals interact with the space and uh, the experience that you can create. Um, 
by using more than simply paint. Although you can do a lot with paint, a ton with paint. So this is Joshua Kronawa. And as you'll see, you'll see some of the, uh, if, if you're familiar with his work, it's gonna, you'll know it when you see it. Um, that, very cool, he does very cool stuff. So uh, we'll look over to the left. This is a character that he created, Coffin Kid. As you see here, and he's the son of the Grim Reaper. He's just a boy. Um, and then he put the put the, this paint in the holes, like oozing out, like black blood. I'll show you too um, on the way back down. There's something cool too left on his. So this is the first of three works that uh, artist McKenna McClurg had did for this year's Occupied. Uh, as, you, as you look at it, it looks like a single photograph, uh, just cut up and then put on panels and then inserted. And what it is is actually, it's multiple photographs of the same individual. Uh, and then each, in, um, some editing and whatnot, and then each image printed and then put on board, mounted on board, and then assembled. So it's kind of hard to tell with this one, but I'll show you the one across right here. As you look at this one here, this is gonna be one very easy to tell, I think at least. You can tell in the mouth area, as well as the eyes. And as we get back and look, there's this very clear kind of look. And as we go to the side, you can start to see. It reminds me of someone that's like been cubed in the horror movie. That was Josh who we were just talking about that just walked by. He's the real life coffin kid. <laughs> so that's McKenna's grandmother. Uh, the boy to the right is her son. And then uh, the first individual was her neighbor. So very cool. This is just one of the very, very cool pieces on this year's project. Look at that. And then she put some wording behind here um, to describe individuals. Charismatic, kind. Very cool. This is one of those things, you know, it's very different experience in person. So Bill Barron, who always does phenomenal work, will go in the, uh, this room next. So some clothing hanging up. I don't know if he found that or I don't know if that's found or not. Uh, he took uh, some elements of the house, the wallpaper like this in here. I think the maybe the windows came. I don't know. He did last year, some of the windows from last year. and um, I'm not sure what he took from the basement this year. Uh, stuff that was taken out. But I know that paint behind there is actually in the old wallpaper, uh, which we can actually see as we go down there. Um, and then he also took some images from like old marketing as well as some of his photographs that are heavily manipulated and created uh, these pieces through these window panes that have, have the appearance of like otherworldly, another dimension, um, another place, another time. And he always does phenomenal work. something about that so he also um, as you look he had this very neat evenly placed sawdust around the perimeter of the room uh, he had uh, put down some boarding to hold it in to like kind of mold it poured it in leveled it off real easy took it off and then it's allowed you know as people go through here they step on it it moves and, and whatnot it's um, very cool shows how people to me impact you know an environment and I'm actually stepping on some of it right now so these are some of him, his images down there he also painted um, the sawdust the top of uh, layer I was about to say I looked at this table I don't know if <laughs> this may have been the table his that I broke either that one or the one that one's on um, felt horrible about that uh, trying to broke it while trying to help him uh, that's so he does a lot of stuff painting mixed media sculptural uh, performance installation uh, very cool artist part of a group red hand as well he does group stuff and then he participates in tons of stuff he was an art educator for years when him his images um, his projects uh, when he participates with us and everything he does very well thought out very well thought out um, works very quickly always well uh, executed I'm going to hop in and I guess see Trish's really quick. So Trish uh, took the bathroom that no one wanted and uh, she jumped all on it. It was like spoke out to her, which is 
pretty cool about you know projects like this. Uh, this is really for kids. Like she she um, she's she worked with kids. She was working with kids at the time. She came into projects she no longer is, but uh, she really wanted to make it this room where you know kids could kind of identify and be like oh going crazy about um this toilet was horrible when we <laughs> when we first saw this house um and uh she's made the toilet into something very cool i wish i had a toilet like this it'd be a pain to clean but it'd be very cool to look at it's one of my favorite things for this year's project uh she has these little doors through here this little pieces right here you can kind of open and close now um she actually had some children in the community um what she did is help her you can find some of that information right there, as well as some Girl Scout, the local Girl Scout troops. So pretty cool. Um, some of the artists, you know, um, made an effort to include others, which is very cool. Plastic. A lot of kids yesterday were tapping on this to see if it was real water as well as to see if this thing's work. They don't. Uh, occupied site has no running water, no electric. So there's no heat or air, uh, no plumbing. If you gotta use the restroom, you gotta go somewhere else, you gotta bring your own water for your paint. Uh, that is, I need to shoot a photograph like that, that's very cool. Um, yeah, so there's always a lot of challenges. Last year we worked in the extreme cold. This year uh, we worked in extreme heat to get the project done. So that's the old shower. So the artists, you know, they take some of the, some of the spaces and they leave, they leave them as is and work with, like work with it rather than to try to repair and then paint or um, work on top of it. Um, they just kind of take what it is and try to find creative ways to make it work. Fake water again. It's hard to see with the light shining in. The fishies down there. And the pads. Um, tons of cool little elements throughout this space. I mean, a lot. She spent a lot of time working on this project and thinking it out and what she was going to do and making sure things were going to work and changing things. And um, As you look over here, she included a chalkboard. And there's some chalk. Oh, there was some chalk in that truck. The chalk is gone. Um, and someone wiped it off. I bet you. Oh, someone wiped it, but the chalk's still there. Um, some books kids can take and whatnot, so. It's cool to see artists do stuff that, you know, kids can participate in, or adults. Um, so right now, uh, my light is off. Uh, that hand is not mine, the ones downstairs were. Uh, that was just a paper mache hand and then blue, painted blue as well as the can. Uh, that blue was made for uh, for a painting that I did uh, for uh, an, the tag annual a couple years ago. And then uh, I had some left over. It's a very cool blue, it's a very weird blue. Um, I can't even remember completely how I made it. It was quite the process. So uh, this is a piece that, uh, it's, it's, so no one wanted the closet, so I took the closet. Um, I only Thursday realized no one wanted the closet. Um, the event was on Friday, so just tried to put something together really quick. Yellow, I love yellow, shocker. That's a piece um, I painted to um, Junk Engine. They performed at one of our art hops, and I created this like, weird uh lizardy type of guy uh as well as kind of wanted to have that look of like uh sub like the subway grids i don't um i remember like when being in like new york and whatnot and looking at maps just how how the, like how those lines kind of look and whatnot so that's that it looks a lot better with the light but you get the sense of it so i'm not gonna spend more time on that so as we come through here lydia flowers uh what she did and i'll show you in a second she created a piece focus um, using yarn that's uh, dyed from plants um, largely here in Trumbull County the plants largely here in Trumbull County so and this thing is just active oh all right so that's the piece right there so we'll go in so yeah that's all uh, that's all hand dyed yarn it's very cool came out very cool Another piece by Bill Barron. Who always does phenomenal work. And then through here, uh, there's three individuals to look at in here. One of them is Salsi, who the, her uh, idea was if the house um, was alive after the people left, how would that house feel? So uh, one of the things you can see on the mirror where have you gone? The question. Let's see this image here. 
tears. Lots of yellow. Who doesn't love yellow? The eyes. More tears. Where have you gone? Where will you be when the land reclaims me? Until then, my walls will cry. And lots of tears. The guys, tears. I love that right there. It is very creepy. And it's very cool. Until then, until then, until then. And then I really love this piece that she did for it. It's probably gonna be hard to focus. The lighting's actually not so great for filming. At the bottom, I may not stand when you return. Very cool. Jessica Oswald, um, for, okay, before we get to her name, one of the first things she did, uh, clean, you know, clean, artists clean the room and whatnot, um, she painted walls and then she cut these using a cricket. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And then they were put onto the wall. And then she found that piece at the top with the vines to kind of come down like as if like a makeshift lamp. And then she made this very oversized book. She got with the Historical Society of Trumbull County, did some research, got some images, found out some uh, some of the history of the area, and then created this, this kind of like fairy tale. So once upon a time, Jessica Oswald born, occupied Warren 2.0. And so it's gonna have some of the historical individuals that have lived here. And uh, I'm just gonna pan through, I'm gonna find something that I was not aware of. And uh, so where is it? Right here. So there's gonna be two pages. So we've had an important woman in our city. Carrie Graham Mountain was the first black woman to purchase her own home, and that was here. And then also, Alaska Packard Davidson became the first female oh, special agent of the FBI. That's her. So that's just some of the information that's in there. Carmen Deno. This is one of his pieces right here. He did this weird bug, uh, old timey portrait. It's a skeleton, black and white. Very cool. He found this frame at an antique store. And it fits in perfect. Josh Ford, come in and see. So we'll come in and see. Uh, so through here, you can see Josh apparently thinks Shepard Fairey is Benedict Arnold. Uh, I do not. Shepard Fairey is one of my favorite artists, so apologies to Shepard Fairey. So some of his images, that is not an exit. It says exit, but you will not get, get out there. Uh, this room was really designed for kids. It's very small. Uh, he did some muddy on the back, uh, primed and painted over. It's very hard to tell. Some repeating characters for those that are familiar with John's work can be found um, throughout this room, as well as labels. Um, he also incorporated, uh, you can get some free stickers, and skeletons and whatnot. I hear people walking around. So we're gonna come through. Hello. Hi. So, and then I'll show that part of Josh's that I was talking about as we come down. So, Mary Jo is on it, opening the windows, thank God, because I can feel the breeze. Uh, this is, and then Josh, as you go down the steps, so you don't see it when you initially come up. Oh, look at that, and that's not the Josh we're talking about. Oh. Josh Cronauer right there. Very cool, his bats, the house oozing black. All right, so we're gonna go out. We're gonna do a couple things really quick. Um, Josh Ford is gonna give me a hand really quick. As we come out here, I need to set up. We have we have an artist coming that came down from Cleveland. I'm gonna get him taken care of. Talk about yoga, right? Yeah. Do you know him? I just started talking to him. Very cool dude. So we're gonna, yeah, so we had a graffiti artist. He came down from Cleveland and uh, Yoga. What's up, man? What up, bro? You mind being on film or? Yeah, we can do that. All right. I'm just, I'm recording the project. That's what I was okay. doing. Um, I said I was recording earlier and then the camera killed and then deleted what I had as I had oh, to turn over. Yeah, so. Hey. All right. You cool with the setup there? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay. And is, is there another artist or are both of those for me? No, those are both for you, man. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you want them, they're yours. Oh, I want them. So <laughs> let's get you the good stuff. That's Deshaun Scott. He's gonna shoot some photos and document maybe real quick. Okay. I'm sure, were you on it yeah. already? Yeah. Deshaun's always on it. I yeah. want him, you know, like, who is this? I like your shirt, man. Thanks, man. I like that. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, swoop around here. All right, Josh, continue. If you take 
that goes off. We're gonna switch around here real quick. Josh kind of do this stuff. There's like a snag on something. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, lift up, pull out. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, not quite midnight. Why, did it say midnight? No. Oh, I was gonna say. So oh, that whole snap. box right there is all you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, that, yeah, man. yeah. Thank you for coming down, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, so I'll get some photos and video of him a little later. Deshaun, like I said, check out Deshaun's site and all that. Yeah, really. It's not my site, man. It's Well, I said D5, Instagram. I threw all that out there as well okay. for people to check it out. So tons of content. Josh is parking. <laughs> yep. Um, where did... Mark Martoff, who we passed and I didn't talk to. That's his right there. He always has cool stuff. So, uh, Dovey Wovey did the side there. Uh, that is the Black Forest in Germany. All you can right. just put those on the ground. Those are mine. Oh, I didn't know if you were tossing them to him. Wait, my oh. phone and my keys are in there. Oh, you don't need any of those. Let's slam those and break them. Ooh, that doesn't sound lovely. So, put them on the ground. Yeah. All right. I don't want to be so, rude. Yeah, I'm, yeah, you're good. So he's gonna get this one set up. Some of David's. Josh Ford did some of the back too. You can see Anastasia. Nice. Yeah. You got a lot of nice stuff on Instagram, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah. So. It's Josh Ford's as well. Um, last year I did a smiley face on the house, uh, the bathroom window upstairs. I did one, so this year I did two. Just to be fun. No one painted over it. No one painted over it last year either. I don't know why. I didn't tell anyone they couldn't. They just didn't. Got a D, so. Josh Ford, obviously, those familiar with his work will know. The house. Um, went all Jackson Pollock on the side. Um, with some of the bad paint that actually wasn't be able to be used um, really for brush. We did save Santa Claus, so Santa Claus has been saved, although he had some paint thrown on him. Um, I really loved how that came out. Man, that's not focusing very well. I'm just throw some paint. Liv Dunn is going to be performing, so that was her musical stuff right there. Hi, Liv. That's Liv. She looks very excited. She's so excited. So excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. She'll be playing that thing. I don't know what it is. It's a guitar. No, it's good. Thank you for coming out. Some of the people. I walked by Julia all ignorant, so I should go say hi to her. So I'll just do another shot outside. People. Adam. All right, so I did my best to capture some of it. If you didn't miss it, you missed out. Try to get out of here. So all right, love you guys. Thank you for all your continued support. And we will see you yeah. when we see you. Yeah. Julia, you yeah. want to say hi? Hi. Hi. All right. <laughs>